Are there a couple of uh, unique or funny, even stories that you've had uh, in your travels? You've spoken about a few uh, remarkable ones, but you know anything that really uh, stands out as truly uh, like unique or anything like that. <laughs> when I, let me take me about two minutes to explain this, but we had an experience filming in Damascus. Oh wow! And um, in our video series, we've gone to to Iraq. When ISIS was there, no less, we had to film the life of Abraham there. And we went and flew and spent a, a week in Iraq, which was a whole story in itself. We went to the ziggurat, which is where Abraham in Ur, where Abraham would have come to worship the pagan god, Nana, the god of the moon. Right. We don't realize that Abraham was not a Jew. He was a pagan idol worshiper until God called him. And I take you there during the ISIS days, believe it or not, but there before that, we were doing the life of St. Paul, and I wanted to get to uh, Turkey, of course, because he spent a lot of time there in all those cities, Ephesus and places like that. And I wanted to get to Damascus, Syria, because that's where he had his conversion on the road to Damascus, which is such a famous statement, road to Damascus. And um, so I, before we left, I had gone to Washington, D.C. to get permits for these places to film. And both places said, I'm sorry. We can't give you permits. It's very complicated, political issues, so on. And I, I, I came back home very discouraged, but I said, Lord, I'm going to trust you. We're leaving in a month to go there. I need permits for Turkey and for, and for Syria. I already had them for Israel and Italy and the other places. We filmed Paul in six countries. And I knew the other ones were easy, but Turkey and Syria were a problem. So I said to the Lord, and, and remember, I'm saying this with kind of a little bit tongue in cheek, all right, a little humor. My dad was a great dad, and I view God like my dad. I could joke around with him, and, and you know, you couldn't offend my father. And I don't think yeah. that, you know, <laughs> if you have a right attitude, you can't offend God either if you love him. I and I said, God, I don't have my permits for Syria and Turkey yet. And I'm expecting you to get them for me because if we fail to get those, you know, we're not going to be able to do this movie and I'm going to blame you. I'm going to tell everybody I did everything I could. You're the one God that dropped the ball on this one. <laughs> uh, now I'll push my tongue back out of my cheek. Okay. <laughs> um, the day that we were leaving, I still did not have the permits and my guys from Phoenix, Arizona were already in the air. My crew with a, with a, a thousand pounds of equipment were already on their way over to start this filming of St. Paul. When I was walking out my door to get in the car of the taxi, my phone, my fax machine rang. I know people don't use fax machines anymore, but they're pretty clever back in those days. And I got pages came out and it was from Turkey. Here's your permits. And wow. I can tell you to this day why or how I got those permits and we flew to Turkey and we did all the filming in Turkey with those permits. I still cannot tell you how they came or why to this day. Wow. We went to Israel, filmed that part. We went to Rome and we filmed that part. And the next day we're going to leave from Rome to go to Damascus, Syria. We had our airline tickets. Everything was all set. All my guides, everything was set in Syria. And we didn't have our permits yet. And I could be arrested when I arrived if I didn't have permits to do yep. this with a thousand pounds of equipment. So I said, let's go to the embassy, the Syrian embassy here in Rome, and we'll see if they can get us the permits. Last ditch effort. I went into the embassy. It was right by the big uh, Emmanuel II monument there in the center. of You know where that is. They call it the typewriter or the birthday cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just if you were facing that just to the right, it's not there anymore, but it was the Syrian embassy. So I went over to the Syrian embassy and we, and I walked in with my crew and my wife and I said, can I speak to whoever's in charge? A lady came out from the back. She said, I'm the uh, representative of Syria here. I'm the counselor. Can I help you? Yes. I said, ma'am, I need to get permits to go film in Syria because the day after tomorrow we're leaving and we got all the equipment and I got to film there. She said, well, I'm sorry, sir. It's impossible to get permits to film in Syria because political situations on even politics, politicians and diplomats, it takes over six months or a year. I said, ma'am, you don't understand. I need to go. I'm sorry. Did you hear me? I said, you can't go. And she turned around and walked away. And I, and, and the Lord spoke to me and said, be strong, be aggressive. So I said, ma'am, excuse me. And she, she came back. This is a Muslim. These are all Muslims. Oh, wow. And she, and the whole office is full of my, she came back from her and said, yes. And I said, ma'am, you don't understand. I need to go film the life of St. Paul at the road to Damascus. 
And she said, didn't you hear me? She said, do you think that you are St. Paul and you will have a miracle? And I said, I know I'm not St. Paul, but I believe in the same God he does. And yes, I believe I will have a miracle. In fact, ma'am, and I said it just like this, I will be back tomorrow at 10 o'clock to pick up my permits and I expect you to have them here ready for me. And she wow. was angry and they threw us out of the embassy in Rome. That day we were filming in St. Paul outside the walls. You know where that is, out yeah. the, where Paul was buried. Yep. And I'm on the camera and my cell phone rings. And I pick up my cell phone and I say, hello? He said, hello, my name, are you Steve Ray? I said, yes, I am. My name is Ali Munir. I am the Minister of Information in Syria. I hear you want to come film in my country. I said, yes, sir, I do. He said, I personally invite you to come. My people will meet you at the airport, give you everything you need. And when you're done, I would like you to come down to the main government offices in Damascus. I want my picture taken with you. Oh my gosh. I still have a picture of him on my computer, him and me together. Wow. I went back the next morning to the embassy with that lady. Oh, and he said to me, I forgot this part. He said to me, I have one thing for you to do for me. And I said, oh boy, what's he want me to do? He says, I need you to go to my embassy in Rome. First thing tomorrow, I'll have all your documents ready for you to pick up at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> and so, and this is true. I have five witnesses to it. My wife and the whole crew. We went back there at 10 o'clock in the morning. I walked in with my hat on. The lady came out and she was not happy. I said, ma'am, I told you I'd be here at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning today to pick up my papers and I'm here. Can you please give them to me? And she said, I'm sorry, they're not ready for you yet. And I said, well, then I'm going to call Mr. Ali Munir and I start dialing his number. She said, no, 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 no. In, in Arabic, it's la, 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 la. No, 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 no. Said, and she pulled out all of those papers from under her desk. She pulled them out and handed them to me. And the next day I was filming in Damascus. Oh I came God. down the wall of Damascus in a basket, just like Paul did. Now, my point of telling that whole story is that is a true story. It is impossible that it could have happened. And it only proves not only that God exists, but that he's involved in his world and his creation. And he's ready to answer our prayers if we really trust and believe him enough to step across the line and to really trust him to the point of putting ourselves on the line for it. And I could tell you stories like that over and over again of things that have happened to us on these trips. That's incredible. I mean, it, it's pretty evident that you're incredibly passionate and good at what you do. And God always, it's always through the grace of God. I mean, you oh, know that. God alone. Know yeah. No, well, that's, that's amazing. And like I said, we're going to post all the resources below. Uh, 